That's the thing. I feel like we get this mixed up. We think that the faster we work, the more stuff we get done, the more productive we are, but we just end up more stressed and then we're more likely to burn out. So I don't really liken speed to productivity at all. Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful week. So this week I wanted to talk to you about living an essentialist life. And it was inspired by a book I recently read. It's by Greg McEwen and it's called Essentialism. It's basically going from this <laughs> to this. And it's really given me some clarity and also some ideas on how to change up my own work routine. So one thing I wanted to talk about in today's video is the idea of priorities or priority and what I've been doing differently. And I feel like this is a little bit con controversial. I was gonna say confidential. It's confidential, just keep it between you and me. But it is controversial because everyone talks about this idea of setting your top three priorities. And I feel like we need to revisit this because that doesn't always work, at least for me it doesn't. Some days it does, but some days it really doesn't. And I've just been getting really overwhelmed and overworked for a little while and I also feel like I have a lot of tasks that take up so much time that I end up working really late into the evening. So I want to share with you what I've been doing differently for the last week and how it's really benefited me and maybe this is going to help you as well. So if it does, let me know down below and what you think of everything we're about to discuss when it comes to setting priorities for your work or study sessions. Alright, so I've had a bit of a bad habit of being a multitasker sometimes and other times I just have a long list of to-dos and I don't know if anyone else feels this way. If you do, please share it in the comments below so I'm not, I know that I'm not alone. But I don't like leaving things unfinished and I don't like to feel like I have so much on my plate. So I, I have this mentality of I just want to get it done. It's not a very good way to live because essentially I am living for the destination and I'm not enjoying the journey, which is actually completing the work and yeah, just enjoying that creative process. Sometimes it's not that creative if you're thinking about emails and admin and paying bills and budgeting, but still, I'm not really enjoying the whole journey necessarily, depending on the task I have to do. So just over a week ago, I wrote down my top three priorities, and this is where it hit me that this was not gonna work anymore. So I wrote down top three priorities, and I started with one of the tasks, and there goes an hour, and there goes another hour, and then I check my phone again, and I am four hours into this task, and it still is nowhere near done, and I know that this is not one of those tasks where I can just get it done because it has to be really high quality and it's for a really special collaboration I'm working on. So I, I can't rush this work, but I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I feel stressed in my body. I feel like I am on the verge of skipping lunch because I just want to get it done. And I'm thinking to myself, this is just, this is not happening. I can't get my other two priorities done today. And then I stopped and I gave myself permission to just focus on one. I said to myself, what is my number one priority for today? Not the second or third or fifth. What's the one that I really need to get done today? And can I just give myself permission to spend today doing this work so that I'm not stressing? And I felt so much better when I did that. So in this book um, called Essentialism, it talks about the idea of priorities and in the past, priorities was not a plural word. It was priority. It was the one thing that you had to do that was the most important, most urgent, and was gonna have to get done today. So nowadays, there are companies that have you know, a Monday morning meeting and they bring all of the employees in for a chat and a brief about what they have to do for the week. And there are the top five priorities for the week or five priorities for the day which is crazy. Like how overwhelming and stressful does that sound? Because each priority, if it's urgent and important, it's probably also gonna take a significant amount of time. Or at least for me, a lot of my urgent important tasks do take quite a bit of my time. So 
I decided to try out what it would be like to do one thing a day for work for the last week. And I know that I'm not gonna be doing this every single week, but for the last week, that's what I've done because I had two days where I allocated towards a collaboration I'm working on, one day for writing my scripts, one day for filming, one day for editing. Next week, I'll schedule a couple other days for editing as well. And then things like emails can kind of just get done along the way when I've got some extra time. And I've got to say, I know it's controversial to say just try and get one thing done a day because maybe we're not being that productive. But to me, I've been so much more productive. It's not about getting more stuff done as in on that to-do list. It, well, it kind of is. I am getting my whole to-do list done. I'm just doing it differently and I'm doing it with higher quality. I'm enjoying the process. I'm not going to burn out. I feel more energized. I don't feel stressed. So I feel like I'm being more productive, even though I'm not working faster. That's the thing. I feel like we get this mixed up. We think that the faster we work, the more stuff we get done, the more productive we are, but we just end up more stressed and then we're more likely to burn out. So I don't really liken speed to productivity at all. Wow, I'm just gonna let that sink in for a second. That's the thing, I don't liken speed to productivity. I think it's about giving your full focus and attention and getting something done and feeling proud of that work and being able to then move on to the next thing. You're less likely to make mistakes. How many times have I sent an email off and forgot to include an attachment? or I have edited a video to actually happen twice before and I've uploaded it. I didn't check it because I was just trying to get it done and get it uploaded and then I had to take it down because I realized, oh no, I left that bit in and that was supposed to be edited out. Whoopsies. Thank you to anyone that commented on that video in the description and let me know, or in the comments and let me know. So yeah, I, I think that this could be a new way to tackle our work. Depending on what your workload is like, Sometimes we have to get quite a few things done in a day, but for those of us that have work that takes a significant amount of time, maybe it is actually just more effective and more productive for us at least to just focus on one thing and block out the day for just doing that. So I'm gonna have a filming day, editing day, admin day, meetings day, script planning day, Instagram planning day, photo shoot day, and I work so much better that way. So if you agree, let me know down below, or if you have a different productivity tip altogether, you can share that in the comments too. And otherwise, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram, Study With Jess as well, because I post up very different, not very different, similar content, but it's unique to Instagram. So I've got videos on IGTV, I story every day, and I put up different posts and little blogs as well. If you want some extra motivation and inspo, you can check that out. And otherwise, have a beautiful week. I'll see you all with another video next week. Mwah. Bye.